two refs remaining, pardon me, for Pro 1. And Rich Froning and Andrea Nisler are able to catch up with Pro 1. Three and a half minutes until we hit the time cap. Will it be enough time for either one of these teams to finish this event? This is their final round. Seven wall walks, seven thrusters. Pro 1 trying to beat Mayhem for the first time in this competition. They have to push the pace on the wall walks. I don't really care what it's going to do to their thrusters, but Pro 1 has to do it because, yes, they moved ahead of Mayhem on the last round, but Mayhem also got a no rep. So they made up the 15 seconds because Mayhem made a mistake. You cannot count on that happening here in the last round. So Pro 1 has to push the pace here. I said, you got you to throw haymakers now. You're not sitting there trying to be technical with your punches. You just got to start blindly throwing and see if one lands. You saw the separation between Mayhem Freedom and Pro 1 at the top of the overall standings, just 18 points. If Mayhem can just stay close to Pro 1, they're only going to surrender about three points here. It's three points, yes, for Mayhem, <laughs> but it's the world for Pro 1 Montreal. No question. 133 reps down. I love that. She's they're just so talking Pro to each one. other. Gobin David and Frederick Dubay. Heading to the barbell before Mayhem. Froning and Nissler with one wall walk remaining. Now you can't stay too relaxed because listen, they're the stronger pair for Mayhem on the thrusters. You can't bank on them making a miss. So you're gonna have to get these three reps. You've looked good so far. Stick to your game plan. But you're gonna have to pick up that bar when they pick up theirs. You're gonna do two sets of two. Mayhem's gonna go 4-3. You need to pick up the bar now. You have to pick up the bar. Pro one, knocked out three. Throwing in okay. this one on the barbell. Okay. Two reps remain for Pro one. Oh, wow. Throwing in this one, looking like they're gonna try to go unbroken. One rep remains. Throwing in this one, save the best for last. Four for four on day one. Wanted to see if Pro One would break from the strategy. It was Mayhem that broke from the strategy, and it pays off for them. That's one of the more impressive moves I have seen from Rich and Company since they have been competing. He's been competing on the team since 2015. And I'm not trying to overplay that. The biggest struggle they had for five rounds in a row was what was happening on the thrusters. And what a gut check moment for Andrea Nistler to compose herself after failing reps in round one, missing squats and falling off in round two, going slower in rounds three and four, and to come out and hit seven in a row when you could barely hit three or four was one of the most impressive things I've seen this team do collectively in the last six, seven years of competition.